Whether you're watching at home or at the stadium, cricket is an all-day affair. And if it's a day-night match, then the day can become a long one. Even as a spectator, you have to keep up your energy levels. And that's why our guest chef, Sylvester Nair, has created a cricket-inspired menu. Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So, you've got a few guys coming over to watch the cricket game at your place, but you're stumped on what to prepare for them. And you also don't want to be dismissed by them. So I'm going to show you a few cool ideas on what to prepare for snacks and easy things to eat while you watch the game. So first off the bat, we're going to do some prawn tacos. So I'm going to grab my prawns, set them into a nice heated pan. I'm just going to drizzle that with some truffle oil. So a bit of oil into the pan. So I've got some nice tiger giants that I've peeled the skin off already. We're going to pop that down. We just want to let that go for a little while. I'm going to just do a bit of Cajun spice in that to warm it up a little bit. So a nice lemon. I cut a cheek with the lemon, so there's no seeds in the cheek of the lemon, as you can see. I'm just going to flip that over. I'm going to do this for about 30 seconds to a minute, just so it gets nice and white on the inside, but pink on the back. And then I'm going to chop them up. While that's going, I'm just going to start filling my taco shells with all the other ingredients, and then we're going to top those off with the prawns. You can do about two or three taco shells with this. Taco shells shop what? Fairly easy to find, fairly difficult to prepare though. I'm gonna do some of my cream cheese. Cream cheese in a nice piping bag, it's much easier to, to put into the taco shell. So you just want a nice squeeze of cream cheese in there. You can add some tomato salsa to that. You can add some fresh chili to the salsa just to add more of a sting to it. My prawns is nicely cooked now. Nice and pink on the outside, flesh is white on the inside. So I'm gonna get those out. I'm gonna start chopping them up to go into my taco. I'm gonna get these prawns nicely chopped up. You can see as I'm chopping it, there's no raw pieces in there as well. Okay, you wanna spoon that mix inside your tacos. Just to hold my tacos up, I'm gonna pipe a little bit of cream cheese on the plate. Put my tacos on there. So I'm gonna finish that with some rocket. And lastly, I'm going to sprinkle some cheddar cheese. Okay, so that was the first over. And for the next, I'm going to be doing a salmon nori shrimp and Jap mayo roll. So to start, I have to lay down the pitch. Then I'm going to top that with some nice smoked salmon strips. I'm going to do some nice layers over my nori sheets here. You want to make sure that your entire sheet of nori is covered with salmon. If you guys are wondering what nori is, nori is actually seaweed. I'm just going to put a bit of my Jap mayo over now. Once that's spread out, not all over the salmon, just halfway through. I'm going to get my pan back onto the stove and I'm going to do some shrimp. Just like I said earlier on, you want to keep the pan that you cooked your prawns in. So you get all those flavors from the truffle oil, you get the flavors from the Cajun spice as well. I'm going to grab some prawns. I'm gonna add some garlic into the sizzling prawns. Just gonna give that a quick toss around. Remember, there's no salt and pepper in there because I've used the pan and it's already had Cajun spice and some truffle oil in it as well. So I'm gonna grab a few of these prawns and put them straight on. I'm just gonna cut another cheek of lemon and just squeeze that over. You don't wanna put too much of the lemon juice on because you don't want too much of liquid coming out of this roll. You want it to be fairly dry when you're rolling it up. You can use a sushi mat to do this. It'll make it much easier, or you could use cling wrap. You want to roll it so it looks just like a bell on top of wickets just before they've been knocked out, obviously. You just want to cut maybe a centimeter, centimeter and a half. I'm gonna pop those on my plate. I'm gonna top that with some pearls. Now you're gonna do a LBW. You're probably wondering what's a LBW. Definitely not a leg before wicket. I'm gonna pop a pan onto my stove. I'm gonna let that get nice and hot. In the meantime, I'm gonna season my lamb chops up. The lamb chops already have a bit of truffle oil on it. I'm gonna just season that with some dried chili, garlic, and sugar. So just a touch of that. I'm gonna pop my lamb straight into the nice hot pan. So you're gonna let that go for about four to five minutes on each side, and that's gonna take you to the desired temperature of your meat. So while that's going, I'm just gonna grab my board that I'm gonna set my cheese up on. Today we got some nice soft cheeses. We got some camembert, some brie, 
some ricotta, and some blue cheese. I'm gonna put my cheeses on my board and leave them whole. Just make sure you got a nice cheese knife at home to just scrape it out. I'm gonna add some crackers onto my cheese board now. Then we're gonna do some nice crepes. I'm gonna add some figs. I'm gonna drizzle some of the fig syrup over. Just to add a bit of flavor to the nice creamy cheese. It's nice and sweet. I'm gonna grab some preserved lemons now. Also just pop them here and there so everyone can kind of get a shot. I'm gonna add some nice cherry tomatoes for color. Oh, that one went for a four. Pop my pea tendrils on. I'm gonna cover my cheese board so nothing goes on to it. Pop that over there. In, I'm gonna grab my barbecue sauce. Just gonna get a spoon. Spoon some of this over. I'm gonna pop a small blotch of wasabi on each one. That wasabi is literally gonna melt into it. I'm just gonna spread it out. Because the last thing you want is to get a big bite of wasabi. On the other side, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Okay, I'm gonna pop a quick lemon cheek on the plate there. I'm gonna pop some fresh chili on there. And a bit of pea tendrils to make that look nice and pretty. It's about time for the match, so I reckon I've hit that one for a six. I'm out. <laughs>